along with handing out water and food to residents, they also had an area set up where you could be registered to vote. Now, the organizers here do not believe that Jackson got into this situation overnight, and they want to empower residents to be able to vote for people in office who they really believe in. We need water. Sunday woke vote organized a water giveaway at Jackson Salon Celebrity Hair Designs on Medgar Evers Boulevard, meeting these residents where they are to provide water and food. We are wanting to make sure um, that as many people from this particular neighborhood had access to clean water. You know, it's a basic right, but also we just want to make sure people have basic dignity. The owner of Celebrity Hair Designs felt called to host woke vote on her property after seeing the needs of the people surrounding her in this part of Jackson. The water crisis in Jackson has been been a challenge for the citizens of Jackson, but we have been resilient. We've come together to just be a help to the community. These residents sitting in the line of their water and food, feeling touched by the amount of support from other citizens and people across the nation. That if we live in, people don't help each other, but to see this means a lot, that people, it's still, it's still hope for the world. People are coming together and helping each other. Make me feel like y'all care, you know? And, and, and it's just a good feeling, you know, and it brings everybody together. Organizers also had a station set up to register citizens to vote, along with providing two cases of water to at least 1,000 Capital City families. The root cause of a lot of the issues that we face as a community is voting, which is why not only do we want to give, you know, water out and give out food, but we want to create an opportunity for people to let their voices be heard. And if your water is not clear or pressure is down, the city has a website you can report issues to. All you have to do is go to jacksonms.gov and scroll down to the bottom of the homepage. Click on the latest water system update under news and announcements. That leak is at the bottom of the page. There's no word right now on when testing could begin, but the city is going to continue to monitor that website for any issues that residents are having. Live outside City Hall, Grayson Gordon, 16 WAPT News.